It was uh, it was windy. You <laughs> you pointed to me earlier because of the allergies. Or yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness! Yesterday was horrific she for came people in, with she allergies. Was like, I'm not sick. I just have allergies. Oh <laughs> yeah, and I bet a lot of folks felt because the pollen is just getting wished everywhere, oh, and the tree uh. pollen's been really high too. So that please tell me today's a break. You yeah, know. <laughs> Wait a little bit, Ginger. He's I'm trying. sorry, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, the San Mateo Bridge showcasing some of that wind there. And you can see the camera's just a little bit shaky. But overall, our skies, we've got the sunrise, San Jose. Is that a spider web? It looks like a spider web in downtown San Jose. Also, San Francisco is going to be a beautiful day ahead. But your hourly forecast for the afternoon by 12 o'clock, we're going to keep the wind factor. But you'll notice that the gusty conditions are going to be kicking up, especially around the corridors and the Altamont Pass, windy 15 to 30 miles per hour in through the afternoon. Also by about three o'clock, so peak, you know, heat upper 70s in through Tuesday, but we're going to, oh my, my graphics are going crazy. Maybe it's the wind. Okay. But we are going to be seeing those temperatures get a little bit warmer heading into Tuesday. Here's a closer look at the wind speeds. You'll notice some of these gusts, especially for Santa Rosa, Bodega Bay, Petaluma, upper 20s and in through Mount Diablo, breezier 15, 20 miles per hour at times, and then into the afternoon. So later this evening, two, three o'clock, you will notice the majority of the wind, especially up through the North Bay, also San Francisco. Some of those interior areas, the wind backs off a little bit. Now, your 70 forecast for San Francisco, here it is. A reminder, we do have summer beginning this week, officially, and we're going to be in the upper 60s for San Francisco. So it is actually going to be a little bit warmer on the first day of summer, even in for inland areas as well, upper 70s. But the wind going to make a comeback again on Thursday before we see partly cloudy skies into Friday and morning clouds for the weekend.